I'm going to walk you through designing a cathedral door in MDF DoorCAD. So uh, to start with, I click on the button in the top left right under Draw Door. And it remembers the door dimensions I used last time, which are fine, so I'll just click Insert. Then I click on the button right below the button I clicked previously. And I'm going to make some changes here. Uh, I want an arc with a 2-inch altitude. Then uh, to update the program, I click on another field after I enter that number. And I want an indent of a half inch instead of one inch, like it has here. So I'll just type 0.5. And then I click on another field to update the program. Then I'm going to insert that. Next, I'm going to click on the button to the right of the button I clicked previously. In the router offset scheme, I've got a preset... Uh, called MDF door paths that's gonna uh, do some cleanup I'll click on draw and it adds the cleanup routes and I'm gonna save this to my library and uh, I'm gonna click on new category call this one training new door call it cathedral and well new project which will be the door name. Then I'll click Save. And at this point, I can trash this door and pull it up from my library anytime I need it. Just I just click on Library. Go to Training. Click on Cathedral. Insert it. Um, <clears throat> and this door was saved at a width of 15 and a height of 20, but we've got an order entry program. If you click here, I can click add. Say I want one that's 14 by 28. Well, not one, but three. And then I want uh, another four at 16 by mm, 30. Four. And that's all I want. Um, I'm, now I'm going to click on Material. And uh, I'll just go with the one that came up here, the 3 quarter inch MDF. Click on OK. We'll just call this Test Job. Test, or well, we'll call it Cathedral Door. Cathedral Doors. I have nest parts checked, so I'll just click on DXF, on, and I'm going to save these to a folder on my desktop. We'll just call it Test Job. When I click Save, it's going to create the DXFs in that folder, and then it'll launch the nesting program. Oh, well, I'll just click OK. Um, those are my doors, so I'll click Nest. And I've got four doors of one size and three doors of another size nested on a sheet. I can look at the code by clicking on Quick Code. I can tell it to uh, display the code on screen. So you can see it actually goes through and simulates the path that the machine's going to take while it's writing the code on the left. It's all done. So I can scroll through this and look at it. Then I can click on the quick code button and it'll actually create a file. I'll save it on the desktop in the test job folder in a new folder called code. Save. Then I'll go to Windows Explorer, go to the test job folder, and then the code folder. And it's still in the process of writing this file, so it says it's 0K in size. Once it's done, it'll have a file size. And it's done, 15K. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, give us a call at 574-968-8142. Have a great day.